Hello and welcome to a new tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be doing a technique and we'll be creating lightning in GIMP. Um, so go ahead and open up GIMP. You won't need any brushes for this, this is just a lightning fork. You can do lots of cool things with this. Um, you can make it look really cool by putting it in someone's hand or something. But who knows what you want to do with it. Um, I'll just leave a link in the description for a little stock I'm using to um, just make the lightning add the effect or whatever. And I'm just going to make the size 1218 by 720. Now open up your selected background. And you just want to scale this up by selecting the scale tool which is right there. Drag these nodes down like that. Now create a new layer, get the blend tool, set the shape on linear, the gradient on FG to BG, with your foreground to, on black and your background on white, you can just click this little thing here. And we simply just want to click in the centre and drag about there and then put it on a slant like that. Now create a new image, go to filters. Render, Clouds, Plasma, and set the turbulence on 1.2 and check randomize here. And click OK. Next we want to go Colors, Desaturate. And set this layer mode onto Difference. And we have a lightning bolt appearing right there. But we want to define that more. So go to Colors, Curves, and to define it, we just want to make it more like that, um, and merge these two down. So we have one layer that looks like this. Next you want to go to Colors, Invert, then Colors, Curves. We're just going to curve that a lot like. And we then get our eraser tool. And we're going to get rid of all of this rubbish. Since I, it was all light and bright, we don't really want that at all. And set this layer mode onto screen. Voila, all nice and cut out neatly. I'm just going to erase all this bit here. So we have a, a tiny bit of black. Oh yeah, there we go. Now get your rectangle selector and just drag over like this and Control or Command C and then Control or Command V if you're on a Mac. And you may have this paste layer here, just click the new layer icon and you won't have that. So next we want to just move this like that, get the rotate tool and we just want to simply pass that like that. And set the layer mode onto screen. Merge the two down and then set it on screen. So we have some pretty cool looking lightning here, but first we need to colorize it. So don't go to colors, colorize. And we want the hue, I want my hue around 307, saturation on max. Maybe make it more purplish and lightness minimum, like minus 11. And we just want to duplicate our clouds or whatever you're using. And we simply want to get the eraser tool on this layer. We're just going to erase all where you think your lightning is. Go back to the lightning layer, I'm just going to erase the top there. And um, 
Maybe move it down. Oh, I mean on your lightning layout. Yes. And and we just want to duplicate. And there we have our lightning. Um, you can move this basically wherever you want. You might just want to keep it up the top here, but I don't like this. So it looks under the cloud. And um, yeah, so there we have our basic lightning. And um, I'll catch you next time for another great tutorial.